Hello everyone, welcome, bonjour, bon dia, welcome to this tutorial using B to program the PSC safety platform organized within the conference ABZ 2021. Uh, we are on schedule, we have a uh, uh, heavy program, so we start uh, just now. Uh, two presenters today, Bruno Lavaux and myself and four contributors. Uh, Bruno was involved in the certification and the development of the of the Clearsy Safety Platform. Uh, Patrick Perron, who developed the, the educational version and the software simulator we'll see later on. And Lillian Birdie was responsible for some of the B models that we'll see today. Uh, most of the resources are available now on our dedicated GitHub, uh, Clearsy PWL ABZ 2021. Uh, the objective today, it's not a course on B, it's not a course on the B method, it's more how to use the formal method or serious thing. So we have a large audience, students, teachers, researchers, engineers, and we would like to please everyone and we will try to share uh, as much as knowledge as possible. Uh, so we, you, you will require some uh, understanding of the formal logic, uh, software development as well. And we will see all of these through a single example, uh, right uh, level crossing. So many resources available. So the slides are available, not yet already, but almost. Uh, but you, you can also have uh, access to, to the slides on the hands off section on the right of your window. So uh, normally you have the slide. At the moment, you have the intro and part one. I will release uh, the two other slides uh, set uh, later on. You also have uh, the programming handbook for the classic safety platform for education, and you have the installation procedure for for the simulator. Uh, the tutorial. This tutorial will be available on on YouTube uh, this this week. Uh, just let me some time for uh, the edition of the video. And other resources are available on GitHub, the source code and uh, the formal models that are going to be demonstrated today. The safety classy, classy safety platform for education software simulator that is fully uh, available uh, right now. And also some informative uh, PDFs. So the agenda is two hours. So we, we, we made uh, another uh, tray yesterday. It's uh, two hours, it's full. So we, we, we have a lot of uh, to say. The first part is introduction to safety, the level, level crossing example, and uh, introduction to the Classy Safety Platform. And then uh, the presentation of the version for education and for industry, uh, looking for this example uh, deeper and deeper for, for the industry case. And at the end, a conclusion. So what you can do during these two hours, listen, learn, browse the resources, the do not spend too much time on, on GitHub. So you have the slides, you have the documentation, you have the source code, and you have the models. You can play with the with the classic safety platform for education software version. You can ask questions on the chat anytime. So we will try to uh, answer uh, to most of them. So if if it's quick, it will be answered on the fly or by batch during topic transition. In any case, if we don't have time to answer all the questions for any reason. You, you will receive uh, answers collectively by email uh, later on. So let's move to part one. So the first part is, is about safety. So you uh, probably know what safety means. It's, it just means that uh, the safety of the health of someone the life or health of someone is at risk in, in case of, uh, of a failure. And when you design a safety system, you have not only to consider the safety objective, but the design of what you are going to produce, the environment in which it will, it will be, uh, uh, it's aimed to be, to, to, to be executed or used. And once you have this design and idea, you, have, you need to implement it. And when you implement it, you, you need to consider that all the elements uh, considering the, the system may fail. And you, you should ensure that your system stay fail, stay safe even with failures. And so at the end, you have to 
provide what we call a safety demonstration that you, you need to demonstrate that it's there is always a risk but the risks are kept below a threshold okay. this is uh, this is the story and so we have different domains trains planes cars nuclear plants etc all these domains have specific standards uh, uh, safety safety concepts and so on so for example the driver's trains are able to to stop but the planes can't stop in the in the sky so you you you, you need to put the straits on availability and to have a uh, human pilot able to handle complex situations uh the cars uh, especially the autonomous cars so-called autonomous cars i need to have a human uh, driving assistant or safety assistant to 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 take back the control of the of the car in certain situations and for which the certification is yet not mandatory and nuclear plants where uh depending on the the, the criticity of the of the functions you you just increase the number the number of barriers so different domains different uh, approaches for, for 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 the same uh, same notion so the standards are uh, just recommendations so they, they, they are just industrial best best practices you you don't have any uh receipt to produce a safe system you don't have to follow a checklist saying okay do this and do this and do this you, you have recommendation and for all the stages of your development you have what you can see on the table on the on the right uh you have depending on the on the safety integrity level you have a number of techniques uh, that you need to use or you 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 it's uh so the air is for recommended and the H air is for highly recommended so nothing is mandatory uh, if i remember well or maybe one or two items and in red you have the, the formal and semi-formal methods so you can use formal methods but you can use any other uh a combination of techniques to, to reach this goal. So the safety integrity levels uh, represents uh, the, the, um, the risks that you, you, you need to, to counter. And uh, for example, when you are dealing with uh, level three, you, 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 you owe to have one failure every century for one system. And level four is one failure every 10,000 years. So it's a very little number, but if you multiply the number of systems by this probability, you have a, uh, you have a, uh, a frequency of occurrence that could be uh, quite, quite often. The safety covers both hardware, software, and environment. So you have to consider specification errors, design errors, programming errors, bad compilation, long execution, failing hardware. So I remember I said anything may fail. Uh, even if when you program, you don't think about memory corruption, short circuit, because there is a bug that is inside your computer, uh, drifting cloud, uh, degrading microcircuits, and so on. Everything, every, every failure that you, you can imagine uh, might happen. And for, for, for this kind of architecture, uh, for the higher safety level, you, you, you need to have several processes in parallel. So you, usually it's two, but it can be more if you need more availability. Uh, quite often, you need two independent software development teams and independent testing team as well. And you need protecting mechanisms in case of perturbation. So you can't consider that everything is working well all the time. So in our example, the, uh, the, the level crossing, so everyone knows about this because you, 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 you need to, to take one of these every day or almost. Um, the idea is not to prevent uh the train to stop it's not to uh to stop the train it's just to prevent human being to enter this dangerous area where the the, the road and, and the tracks are just crossing and the the idea is uh to make the, the the driver aware of the of the situation so you have the barriers just to prevent him from entering this area and you have the red signal uh just to prevent to, to, to make him aware of the the, uh, the, the train approaching of the uh, of the process. So many different instances, depending on the of the countries or depending on the technology, depending on the money. Uh, so you can you have uh, level crossing with no barrier. You have single barriers. You have double barriers. Someone was delayed just to uh, allow uh, the, the drivers to escape in case they were just uh, uh, stuck inside the, 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 between the barriers. And uh, there is no consensus about the, the, the safe 
position of the barrier. So in some countries, we have uh, the barriers have to be open to, be, to consider the system safe. But in other countries, you, it's uh, contrary. The barriers have to be closed. So the, okay, it's, this is oh. and just to show you uh, that is very. This ah, yeah, the one. This is uh, something that happened uh, some years ago in France. So there is a there is a, a, a truck that is stuck on the on the on the river crossing, and there is a train arriving, and you can see on the on the collision that the the train is not the train is not in good shape. And the funny thing that you have people just. <laughs> Recording on their smartphone, the, the, they almost die on the on, on the scene, but they they try to record. Okay, so this is not something that we would like to avoid with our with our system, uh, because in this case it's a uh, it's a fault, uh, it's a driver fault. Uh, no, he didn't have to to engage on this road. Uh, he had no 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 room for it. Okay. So this is this is a view of of the of the system. So it's simplified. So we consider trains going from left to right. So we have here we have two cars, and to so we have the, the, the we have the road. We have the barriers that should be uh, pre prevent people drivers for from entering entering the tracks when the train is approaching, and the train is detected to approach because we are using sensors. So they are called uh, announcement pedal. So pedal is uh, could be physical equipment. So when the when the wheel of the of the train move over this pedal, there is a, there is a contact, or it can be a, a magnetic sen sensor detecting the, the the axle of the of the train. So you have an announcement pedal detecting the number of axles uh, that are that are entering the, the area, and you ha you have the freeing pedal uh, at the exit. And you can see that if you count the number of axles, um, you can consider that the barrier is open when the, the, the number of axles between the two pedals is zero. And the barriers have to be down uh, in case of, uh, of a positive counter. So you have an, an engine to operate the barrier. And you have also a signal to warn, to warn the driver. So in our example, we are going to connect our sensors and actuators uh, with the ClearC safety platform, so PLC that is uh, being uh, presented later on. And the, 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 the ClearC safety platform is going to be connected to the outputs through uh, relays, safety relays, because it's, uh, it's mandatory. You can't provide the energy you can, uh, for, for, for the actuators. You, you can just switch on and off the current that is going through uh, relays so the sequence of events is as follow an axle passes over the announcement pedal so you have the red light flashes and the barriers close uh, each time an axle passes over the pedal the counter is incremented each time an axle passes over the free pedal the axle counter is decremented and after the last axle of the train has passed so the, you, you have a counter is equal to equal to zero the red light go out and the bar is open it's Straightforward. <laughs> so a different view, uh, decomposed. Uh, so before the train enters the, 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 the area, the counter is equal to zero. Uh, so you have one axle going over the pedal. So the counter is going to one, and the barriers start to close, and the light is flashing. And then you have a second axle, so the counter is now two. The barriers are down. And then the train, so the, the, the freeing pedal is just is just after the, the, the barrier. Uh, because what, what, what you want is not to have drivers lo losing patience and, and, and going uh, through the barriers, uh, even, even if they are down. So you, are, you, you need to release the drivers as soon as possible. So the freeing, freeing pedal is just after the barrier. And so when the, the train has moved over the, the, the freeing barrier, the counter is equal to zero, and then the barrier is able to, to go up. So in our example, we, we have just decided it's, uh, it's our decision to consider that closed is safe. Uh, 
So the consequences for, uh, for, for these decisions are the, the barrier engine invention is used to keep the barrier open. And in case of power shortage, the gravity is used to lower the barrier. And in case of failing controller, because the controller may fail, uh, the outputs for the engine and for the signals are off. So we should verify that the relays that we are using for controlling the engine uh, do not provide energy in case of absence of command. So, so we have also a number of questions or uh, subjects to consider. So we will not answer this, uh, this question, but just to show that it's not only a question of algorithm that we'd like to formalize and implement. Um, uh, for example, what, what happened in case of neg negative counters? Is it possible to have uh, more train access leaving the zones and entering? So you, many ideas, you, have, you can have trains going on the other direction, you can have faulty sensors, you, you can have a lot of uh, possibilities, or you can switch on your, your system while there is a train in the middle, and so you, you're, you're, you're getting negative counter. What to do in case of a train? Uh, yeah, this is the situation. So you have a train between the pedals when the controller is switched on. So well, well, in case of power sh shortage, is it, is it a problem to have a barrier going, going down while, while the signal is not on? What if someone blocks the barrier preventing it to go down and where to install the announcement pedal, meaning uh, the distance between the announcement pedal and the crossing is, is quite important. If it's cl too close, the barriers do not have enough time uh, to, to go down and the drivers uh, to leave the zone. And if it's too long, the, the drivers will lose patience and just go through and risk to, to be collided by the train. So the glo global picture uh, contains many things, many, many considerations, not just an algorithm to control this barrier, system, environment, procedures, uh, traffic, human behavior, and so on. And so you have, when, you, when you go in this uh, kind of system, you have to make a number of hypotheses uh, just to restrict the number of situations you, you need to consider. So for this, we need the safety computer. So what is, uh, what is a, a safety computer? So a safety computer is a computer uh, taking inputs, performing a transfer function F and modifying outputs and iterating, okay? And F is a special, it could arm and kill people. And a safety computer is a computer able to check if it's, if it's able to execute the function F properly so it's a checkbox or the, 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 the red cross, and to adapt accordingly. Accordingly means that if it's, uh, if it's fit, uh, just execute F, uh, consume inputs and provide outputs. And if it's not fit, just do nothing and deactivate the, the, the outputs. And so what are these uh, checkbox and, and red crosses? Uh, for example, uh, red cross is uh, if the memory is corrupted, meaning the data, the program, the register, if there is incorrect computation, uh, meaning for example, that your, 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 your macro processor is not able to perform an addition uh, in some situation. If you have an incorrect timing reference. So if you, uh, if you want to wait for one second and in fact the clock is uh, is going slow slow slowly and you are not measuring one second but 10 seconds so you need to 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 to, to be sure that your timing reference has, has some properties and if you have some uh, incorrect output physical status so in case you are not able to command the outputs so you can modify the uh, a variable in memory that is supposed to activate some actuator but you, you, you are not able to, to, to modify the status. In this case, you, you need to, to, be, to be aware of this situation. And if everything is okay, well, if there is no problem, then uh, you, you can go in, you can execute F. And that verification involves involve both hardware and software. So some history about the ClearSea safety platform. So it started in 2016 after 10 years of experience developing C4 system with PLCs, PLCs or automatons. So it's special computer safety computers used in industry. Uh, so 2007, 2016, we started the R&D project called LSHIP, Low Cost High Integrity Platform with a, for the collaborative projects with, a, with the French railways, uh, SNCF. 
and we started to invent the Classy Safety Platform for education. Uh, following this, we organized a number of tutorials in Brazil. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Marcel, Valerio, uh, for, for your help in Canada, in France, Italy, Portugal, and UK. And uh, we released uh, the, the, the Classy Safety Platform for Education in 2019. And they are used uh, as of today in, uh, in university and engineering schools in, in France, in Italy for uh, master and master two classes. And at the same time, so it's a red part, uh, some of the building blocks uh, were used in, in systems that were certified in Brazil, in, uh, in Sweden and uh, in uh, North America. And from this, and when we got the, the Classy Safety platform uh, ready for, 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 for commercial, we started to invent the Classy Safety platform for industry, meaning just uh, being able to use it for uh, safety critical uh, systems. And so it's, it finished last year, and we got the certificate, SIL4 certificate, for the core safety platform computer that we will see later on uh, in, in January or March of uh, January, February of this year, February. So what is the Classy Safety Platform? It's a, it's a safety uh, computer which implements uh, the verification, your, your green checkbox and the red cross. Uh, the idea is to save time and to allow less experts engineers to develop because as you can imagine you have to consider a lot of aspects of your development and not just uh, programming your, your algorithm and one of the other uh, specific of this uh, approach is that we, we are using B uh, the B method to obtain detect free software just to avoid a lot, a lot of testing but there is no magic uh, so you need a, a software specification of course uh, if your system study or design is incorrect, the safety is not ensured. If you decide to uh, close the barrier, but in fact you 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 you, you need to open it or to break uh, to break a train or something similar, uh, if the specification is incorrect, the safety is not ensured. You need to have some electronic skills uh, for interfacing with uh, with the external world. And what is really important is F is not safe just because you are using a safety computer. It's not because it's uh, safety ready that your, your function is, is, doing, is doing right. And so the, the main summary for this is execute the right F and execute the F right. And this requires a lot of different skills for, for achieve, achieving this. So the main principle for the classy safety platform are uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, F is a proof B formal model. This is, this is one of the main aspects. The, the, the F code is generated automatically from, uh, from the models. You have two identical microcontrollers to execute several diverse instances of F. So uh, we have been asked several times, well, uh, is there any need to have uh, diverse microcontrollers? It's not required by, by our safety demonstration. We can afford to use the same microcontrollers uh, to reach the, the highest safety level. And the, the, the power that is available is around uh, 80 million instructions per second. And there is a continuous behavior verification for this uh, green and, and, and red thing. So the architecture uh, starts from the, the F specification in whatever language and uh, the, the, the entry point for, for the compilation to chain is B0. So B0 is the implemented, implementable part of the, of the B language. So it can be obtained through a, a fully de developed software in B. That is a preferred because again, in this case, you, you avoid a lot of testing. Could be translated from a domain specific language. I have an example to, to show in the next part. Or it can be directly uh, handwritten. Uh, considering that B0 is just is very similar to ADAR or to C without the notion of, of pointer. And then you have two, two chains uh, generating for, for the same function two binaries, two what we call replica, which due, during which the, during their execution, they will compare their, their memory states and they will check if they are doing exactly, they, they obtain the same results all the time. And they will also cross check between the two, uh, the, the other microcontroller.
So another view for, for, the, for the software architecture. So you have one main loop that is infinite loop, uh, which executes F once a number of times. And at the same time, check the sanity. So check if the microcontroller is, uh, is sane and check if the other microcontroller is sane. So it computes this uh, red uh, checkbox and red cross thing. And at the same time, you have, uh, so this is a sequential iterative uh, behavior. And at the same time, you have uh, interrupted uh, behavior uh, where you uh, get the data and you control the outputs. So the main thing is we don't have uh, any uh, underlying operating system. So the main, loom, the main loop is executed as fast, fast as possible, uh, meaning th there is no predefined uh, cycle time. And the binary, binary is made of two parts. So the replicated code. So you, you remember the two different uh, branches for, for, for the code generation. And this replicated code is subject to two, what we call two out of two verification and the non-replicated code. So the code is not executed and verified uh, the same way. So we have two versions, version for education uh, so here you have uh, blue boxes representing what has been developed or what is generated for you. So you don't have to modify or to write any of these things. You just have to concentrate on the, on the green box. So to develop the, the, uh, the function F uh, as a B model only, so the replicated codes, most, most of the verifications are implemented uh, and we are using a, a cost-effective hardware interface just to lower the, the cost of the of the of the board, uh, because it's for education. So we don't need to to be as extreme as we are in the in the industry. And the the, the counterpart is cannot be used for real life safety application because of this limitation. And so you have two versions. One is uh, so we have the ID plus the board. That is shown on the on the left. So you have three inputs, three digital inputs. Digital meaning it's a zero one. So there is no continuous value. It's a zero one, and two outputs. And you have the same thing with the board emulator: three inputs and two outputs. So uh, I mentioned it uh, at the beginning of my talk. It's uh, you, you have a number of uh, existing resources uh, that have been experimenting in different uh, different occasions. We got a, a number of feedback. Uh, you have a handbook that is also available with the uh, uh, presentation of the programming model, a pro uh, presentation of the B language. We have some examples. Uh, everything is available on GitHub as well. And you have the software emulator. So the software emulator has been released last week. So again, you can uh, download it on the on the GitHub of the tutorial. So it's fully functional. When you can execute one replica, one, not the two, you can execute one replica of your of the of your application. So if you want to test it without having to, to buy, or you don't want to, to manipulate the wires and to connect your, your board with other equipment, you, you can go for this and it's for free. And you have the version for industry. So the idea is to provide more flexibility at the cost or uh, risk of errors, and you have to, to, to do more things. So here you have more uh, green, so you can, uh, you can write the F function using B and C. You can program the sanity using existing libraries. You can program the main loop. You can program the data acquisition, the output counters. Um, all the verifications are implemented, uh, meaning that the product has been certified. So everything required is in the box. But you are so the, the, the format is a smart card format, so it's it's quite small, and you need to uh, connect it on the on the motherboard to 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 get the power and to get access to uh, input outputs. And so you can see on the right uh, there is a starter kit motherboard with 32 inputs and 32 outputs, digital inputs and outputs. Uh, so you have a number of uh, elements, technical elements, you have a library, uh, the tool chain is uh, docker based, so you just have to use a command and it compiles everything for you. Uh, it's more versatile, so you, you can program any kind of uh, algorithm. 
um, you can do whatever with uh, with the interfaces you would like to uh, if you want to go for uh, i square or i don't know you 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 you, you can uh, develop your own thing electronic and software uh, so we, we we have a certificate uh, from uh, from certifier that if you follow a number of uh, conditions that will be presented by uh, by Bruno in this case you're, 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 it's quite easy to to get your, your certificate and it requires a, a motherboard for for power and uh, input outputs Okay, so before jumping uh, to part two and three for the one who want to stay with us. Uh, so again, it's not a course on B, uh, it's not a course on formal method. We'd like just to, to show, to demonstrate how to use these uh, two things for education industry, using B, but also using, uh, using C language and uh, some bits of electronics on the level crossing uh, control. So two parts. Uh, the Classic Safety pl platform for education uh, by myself and for industry by, by Bruno. Uh, 